Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this week's edition of Mental Mondays and really appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out today's episode and welcome to the club here guys. Man, Mental Monday, uh, probably my least popular uh, viewed videos I do every week, but it's my favorite part of doing the channel. Um, we sort of take a break from this. You guys have watched it, you know what's going on here, but if you're new to the channel, uh, this is something we do once a week that's sort of a departure from the fishing tips and just sort of try to talk to some stuff, talk about some stuff that stretches your mind, stretches your imagination, makes you think a little bit. So welcome everybody if, you're, if it's your first time out there. Guys, today we're going to be talking about why it is so hard for some people to accept the truth. Um, we, we touch upon this quite a bit on Mental Mondays here because it is such a huge part of the, the of the of our entire society as far as you know what our society has sort of morphed into over the past uh, couple decades out there um, because for whatever reason especially over the past eight or ten years a lot of Americans out there have a problem dealing or accepting things to be true that are true out there so I want to get into that a little bit here also guys real quick just wanted to, to let everybody know I really appreciate everybody that has been supporting the channel I know a lot of the, the mental Monday uh, members tend to be you know really loyal fans of the channel so thank you very much for using all the links I put in the description and subscribing to the channel just want you guys to know I really appreciate that Okay, guys, one, one reason I wanted to do this video is I saw, I was watching uh, some clips from some news programs this past week um, where one of the, they, it was a news channel that was covering one of the, the, the presidential candidates out there. And anyway, they were covering this particular speech that this presidential candidate was make was making, um, campaign speech. And anyway, the, the uh, commentator that was watching this cut in and they said, okay, um, we're going to have to cut away from this because um, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, but people are not entitled to make up their own facts that aren't true. Um, and which really surprised me because this particular news anchor was in the past, the, chant, the station had been very friendly towards this one presidential candidate, but basically he was just saying that, you know, we're, we're done, you know, sort of like, uh, you know, giving a platform to for people saying things that simply aren't true out there. And um, it got me thinking a little bit out there, why is it the past really eight or 10 years, why have people had such a hard time accepting things that are true? And why do they spend so much time trying to muddy the waters or trying to prove things that aren't true, that are factually true out there? Uh, that's what I wanna get into this a little bit based upon sort of a perspective from human behavior out there. Now, first of all, it's like one of the, when you're talking about truth in any reality, I don't care what it is, you know, it, it doesn't matter if it's any aspect of your life. Um, not, it doesn't have to be just politically or f philosophically. It can be anything in your life. It's like, um, it serves nobody uh, to deny the reality or deny the truth or try to uh, create a narrative that fits into your worldview out there simply so you can comfort yourself out there. There's never anything wrong with the truth. If we seek truth all the time and we seek uh, factual information that are that is backed up by reproductible results and and uh, you know source based fact that is uh, agreed upon from mutual consensus from a wide range of sources out there, um, why is it that some people deny that? You, you know, in terms of something more favorable to the worldview. I, and one of the reasons, I, I've never seen it be so rampant the way it's been over the past four or five years, specifically about people, you know, having a hard time accepting and dealing with the truth or trying to undermine what the truth is out there. I think a lot of this has to do with fear. Um, a lot of it, when you're, when you're dealing with issues that we have in society out there, it's like when you when you deal with hot button topics that, that create a lot of emotion within people out there, a lot of people have a vested interest. They have a worldview that they have created based upon how they were brought up from being the time of their little kids. They've surrounded themselves with people that reinforce that worldview. They live in an information silo to speak of where the only news and information that they get is news and information that re reinforces their own worldview that doesn't offer any challenges to that. And they dig their heels in 
And when there is some type of counter evidence or counterfactual information that challenges that worldview, um, we've entered a, a realm in the time, in the place and time we find ourselves in this country where some people simply deny reality at all costs. It doesn't matter how much factual information, fact-based information that you give somebody, they deny that reality in favor of, you know, a talking point or a viewpoint that they've heard from one or two sources out there. And um, I think what happens in a lot of that is like, if you if you are fully vested in, in, in any type of a worldview out there, say, you, say you've spent decades and decades and decades reinforcing a certain viewpoint, then and, and that viewpoint never gets challenged. Then all of a sudden it gets challenged by some factual information that cannot be denied, but people still dig their heels in and deny it. One of the reasons that people do that is they fear losing their identity because people's worldviews and belief systems are closely connected with how they identify themselves as a person. So let's say, for example, you have a worldview or a belief system that you're really, really, uh, you know, dug into and you're really, really fully vested into. And then all of a sudden, one particular aspect um, of that worldview gets challenged by fact. And then that person denies that. It's like, no, that's not true. That's fake news. That's not true. This is the way it is. That's a con that's whatever. It's just like it's some you know it, it some they're 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 trying to muddy the waters to the extent where fa truth does not become truth anymore. It's like it's muddied and it's gray so much that it's like there are people out there that it doesn't matter how much fact and information and truth you bring to them, they simply dig their heels in and deny reality out there. I see it over and over and over again every single day in my life. I, I heard, overheard, I was at dinner last night, and overheard a conversation uh, about some people talking, they were talking about politics, and they were talking about this one particular aspect of one candidate, and which is, it's not true. It's like what they were talking about has been debunked over and over and over again. It's simply not true what they were saying, but the sources and the viewpoint that they got on this particular issue was only from one perspective. And it's like, even though you have dozens and dozens of dozens of counters to that, they don't, they've got blinders on to the extent it's like, I don't want to hear that. Don't tell me that. I don't want to know what the truth is. I live in a little four cornered room here and I'm comfortable with the way that I believe and feel. And I don't want to anybody to challenge that. That's a real problem in our society today. It really is out there. And um, I, don't, I don't quite understand why it's so rampant as we have right now. It's, almost, it's sort of like <clears throat> a, cult, a cult type mentality a little bit. A lot of people, if you studied cults very much, you can look at them from the outside and it's like, how in the world can somebody believe that? How can somebody think that that's true? Or how can somebody do that or act like that that's in a cult? And they do that because they are only exposed to one point of view all the time. And they're never exposed to any counter point of view. And so let's say, for example, if you're from the time that you're a little kid, from the time that you're three years old, um, you were taught that, you know, snakes are bad. And it's like, stay away from snakes, stay away from snakes. They're going to bite you. They can kill you. They're going to hurt you. If you just hear it over and over and over again, that snakes are bad, by the time you get to be an adult, you're going to have a worldview locked into the fact that snakes are bad and there's not anybody that's going to tell you otherwise. It's not going to happen. It's like it would take years of deprogramming <clears throat> to get you to realize that snakes have some benefit on this planet. But it, And it's, it's like that with anything. It's, out, it's, it's like that with politics, with religion, with cultural issues, with social issues, with financial issues with relation, just everything out there is like that. So the earlier that somebody is indoctrinated into a worldview that's not based in reality, it becomes more and more difficult to help that person break away from that, you know, life of, of a fiction, a fictional reality that they live in. And it's sometimes it's impossible. There, there is literally from, from what I can see, there's about 
you know, 25% of this country out there that is locked into a worldview that's in complete denial of reality, of factual reality. And there's nothing that you can do or say to those people to change their mind. It's not, there's nothing. It doesn't make any difference. It's like it does, you can present somebody with just a pile of facts this tall out there. And then on the other side, they don't have any evidence whatsoever to counter all these facts, but yet they hold their ground and they hold their belief system in light of all the evidence and facts to the contrary out there. Um, that is sad. It really is out there because that denial of reality and the fear of seeking the truth out there does not serve anybody at all, any good at all. There's nothing productive about it out there. But in the age that we have of, um, of the way that our news cycles work and the way that our social media works in today's society is there, there are entities out there that have a vested interest in feeding people misinformation and disinformation all the time to allow them to muddy the waters. Because a lot of this, <clears throat> the goal of it is to create fear and anger. And if you can create fear and anger in a group of people out there, you hook their attention a lot of times. And a lot of, a lot of news agencies and social media sites and podcasters and talk show personalities, they figure that out. They figure that if they feed the right type of misinformation and disinformation to people out there, that they gain a loyal following because it feeds into their worldview, even if their worldview is detached from reality out there. So the point is, guys, is, um, is, you know, don't fall into that. It doesn't serve you. It doesn't serve your progress as a human being any way, shape, or form. You're never going to go wrong by seeking the truth and looking for the truth out there. But you have to be clear on what the truth is out there. And again, the only way that you can verifiably understand and know that something is true is it has to be backed up by source-based factual information that verifies that. And the only way that the legitimacy behind that is by having multiple sources, independent sources that have no connection to each other. And once you have multiple verifiable sources for one particular topic that are backed up over and over again by different people, different, you know, think tanks, different agencies, and, and, they, and they can actually verify where those sources for that information came, um, then th that is undeniable truth. But you can't, something is not true if it's, if it's been heard by a rumor or if it's been somebody says something and they create a talking point and, and they create this big lie and tell the big lie over and over and over and over again until people start believing that it's fact. We've talked a lot about Joseph Goebbels in this particular, uh, you know, Mon Middle Monday series where, you know, Goebbels, the propaganda that got him to turn the German people into to be a, a follower of Adolf Hitler is he realized that if they made up a big lie and they told the big lie over and over and over again, they didn't need any facts to back it up. There's something about in the human behavior of people that are, you know, misinformed and uninformed and sort of low information uh, segment of society out there that they are easily manipulated. They, re, they're, they are gullible to the fact that they'll believe things if it's repeated over and over again, forcefully, even if it's not true. And we've seen that thrown back in our society today. That's very rampant in our society today. And until we transcend that, and until we get some, uh, some critical thinking uh, perspective going in this country, the critical thinking perspective that's backed up by reproductible factual results and having an understanding of what is true and what is an alternative fact, nothing's gonna get better out there. And I've had conversations, guys, with people about this. Where the, 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 I've had so many conversations with people that are locked into a certain worldview out there, and I can just feed them fact over fact over fact over fact, and they can't give me any evidence to back up their point of view, but they still refuse to acknowledge the facts presented to them. They're in complete denial of reality, and that gets into again about that sort of that cult-like 
cult-like mentality, that cult-like mind where you're not going to convince or tell anybody something that challenges their worldview. Because there are, again, 25% of the people, I believe, in this country out there that are more comfortable living in a worldview that is in denial of reality, and they may know it, than to actually have to break that worldview that they have down, completely down to nothing, and start all over again, especially later in life out there. So anyway, it's, there, it's a complex problem that we have here. It doesn't serve us, our country good. It doesn't serve the individuals that are, that are sucked into this good out there. And the problem that you have with it is it's sort of like a drug addict a little bit or somebody that has some type of a mental health issue is they don't know or they don't think that they are being, you know, sucked into some misinformation. It's like the worst thing that you can have is somebody that is lives in an information silo and lives their life around conspiracy theories and, you know, stuff that is, and, you know, viewpoints that are not backed up by any fact out there. And you can't get to those people out there. It's almost like it's impossible to reach them. And it's one of the most frustrating things that, that we have with out there. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up. Shoot me some comments in there. I'm sure you guys, uh, you know, have, can relate to what I'm talking about on some level out there. And, um, it's, uh, I, I hope something changes with it because like I said, it's more rampant in our society over the past five or six or seven years than it ever has been. And as a result, it's just, it's creating a lot of turmoil in our country out there. So anyway, I hope you guys are well. We'll talk later. See you.